My little coffee steam engine, by the way, is crushing it right now. A little Sterling engine using the heat in my coffee. Keep this little wheel going. Before we get into today's video, we did launch a few new products at first.shop and they are very, very limited. The first of which is a set of five casino dice, regulation casino dice, branded with a first casino and they are also individually numbered. There are only 200 of these, so those are up in the shop right now, as well as 30 uncut sheets of each of the Red Bicycle and Blue Bicycle first edition collabs. If you wanna check those out, they will go quickly. There are also a whole bunch of other things on the shop that we just added. You guys can go browse, I do appreciate it. Now, about four or five years ago, I put out a video about this box, this mystery box here by Theory 11. We had to decipher a puzzle in order to open this box. Inside this box were decks of cards by uh, Theory 11 who collaborated with JJ Abrams and his company Bad Robot. There was a mystery about this deck and a lot of people didn't know about the mystery. I didn't even reveal the mystery four or five years ago, but seeing as how these cards aren't available anymore and this collab has happened so long ago, I feel it would only be necessary to see if we can get to the bottom of it here. So appreciate you guys leaving a like, subscribing, and without any further ado, let's have a look at this. On this box was a small cryptex here, which we had to decipher. We found out that the cipher was actually uh, the name Harry, but the letters were all mixed up. So we did end up solving that and opening it. On the inside lay wait a bundle of decks of cards, a brick to be exact, 12 decks of cards. Uh, and we did unbox one here, but we will unbox another because we need the box itself in order to help figure out this mystery. Look at that packaging. There was so much buzz around this deck when it came out. People were like, what is the extra mystery? And it took everybody, everything to figure out what it was. Remove the cards, you get rid of those. And in here, normally don't rip up a deck of cards, but in this particular deck of cards, there is a link right here. And that link is Tobordab. Dot com. What is Tobordab.com? Well, for you puzzle enthusiasts, uh, it's Bad Robot backwards. It's kind of like when you write Illuminati backwards, it takes you to the CIA website. Did you know that, Antoine? It's NSA. Is it? It brings you to the NSA website? Yeah. Yeah. So that is the first mystery that we found. And from there, it's going to lead us to a rabbit hole of online puzzles that we have to solve. I've never fully attempted these puzzles, so this will be brand new. Um, let's start it out, begin. Cool, very satisfying. We've got these switches here, and the switches underneath have numbers. The screws also are, there's an orientation to the screws, and that's the sound of when you, you don't get it. So we gotta figure out what the sequence is here. Now, if we look at the orientation of the screw, I don't know if that actually matters because there's two sets of screws here. They're not giving us much. Oh, check out the link. If you look at the link, what does it say? It says 01 Fibonacci. Now the Fibonacci sequence is right here. The Fibonacci sequence is basically um, the next number is the two last numbers added together. So it would be it would be one, one, then two, then three, then three and three make, uh, wait, then three and two make five, then five and three make eight, and so on and so forth. So we would have one, uh, then it'd be one and one make two, two and one make Three, three and two make five, five and three make eight, eight and five make 13. Let's go. We're on the next level, a piano. I'm looking at the link right now. Link doesn't show us anything crazy, I don't think. Uh, but the name of the company is Gabe and Adage, Adage. Uh, and I mean, that I, f I feel like is a pretty simple puzzle in itself. G-A-B-E-A-D-A-G-E. -E. Those are all notes on a piano. I don't know any notes, so I'm gonna go ahead and Google piano notes. All right, let's try over here.
Let's go. All right, we got it. <laughs> On to the next one. Hanzo generator. Waveforms. Why is it on mute? Playing it backwards. I wonder if we can just isolate the voices somehow. Where did the sound go? Why is it on mute? Okay, that's the mute button. Why is this one green? See, when I isolate, it only isolates this one here. Passcode here that's required. Okay. This is growing increasingly difficult uh, very quickly. We had a sound here for a second. I don't know what happened to that. Oh, now there's sound, okay. There's just a bug. Those are the channels I can isolate. So, if I turn these up. That sounds like Morse code. That sounds like a, that sounds like dot and dash systems here. For some reason the sound uh, just kind of bugs out here. I gotta refresh the page. Mm -hmm. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, it's dot, 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 dot. We have a single dot, I believe, if that's one, there's none. Yeah, E, we have dash, dot, dash. O-U-R-H-E-K-I. I believe there's probably a mistake here. I have so many conflicting numbers right now, or letters. H. That's an I. That's an I again. And now it should start over. This is so crazy. It's giving me something different every time, I feel. We're gonna start over. All right, this time, 100% we got them all. All right. So we start with dash. I don't know if we started with dash or what, so we'll put T because it starts and it's a little bit weird, so we'll put T in parentheses, but we have a T there. Uh, we got four dots, which is H. So we got TH. A single dot, which is an E. We have the word the. Uh, dash dot dash. Dash dot dash dash. Dash dot dash dot, that's a C. The C R S. The choice. The choice is yours. How is that a password? How does that make any sense? The choice is yours. Can I just write that? In one word? Let's go. Okay. The true mystery of the world is the visible, not the invisible. Now there seems to be like a little tiny lines. Oh, so maybe there's like a secret place to click here is what I'm thinking. 
gonna wait. I'm gonna try to. No, that's just when it goes over the picture, I guess. Oh, this is an interesting one. So the picture I can kind of drag around. What if this is like, okay, the true mystery of the world is the visible, not the invisible. What if that's a quote? Oscar Wilde. That's an Oscar Wilde quote. What, what quote is that from? The picture of Dorian Gray. That's a bit of a leap, I feel. This one's stumping me. Uh, is the visible, the mis true mystery of the world is the visible, not the invisible. So what's visible here? A man, a lake, a bog. If I turn my brightness down all the way on my computer. Does it reveal something? Because I can copy this image. Well, the image is called secret. Is there anything I can see? Like this here, it almost looks like this needs to be folded. Like there's some, is this more Morse code? What is this in the middle here? What is all this? I don't think this is another Morse code one. I don't think they would just do that. And there's something about this tree too. The fact that like half of it is sort of invisible here. Maybe there's a number there somewhere. Visible? Is it, is it just passcode? I'm trying at all the obvious things, but obviously it's not working. Is it a riddle? Is this quote meant to be a riddle? What is the true mystery of the world then? If this was a true mystery of the world. And the PNG is called secret. The photo is called secret. Secret.jpg? Something's up with this photo. True mystery of the world is the visible, not the invisible. What's visible? What is visible? Man, this one's really stumping me. True mystery of the world is the visible, not the invisible. And that's from Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde. I mean, how is that not the code? Oscar Wilde. That would be too easy. It would be too easy if it was just who's the author of this. True mystery of the world is the visible. There's no, there's no capital letter on the T, but there is punctuation. This one's tough. It's gotta be something with the picture. Okay, I guess the invisible would be the branches, right? Right, the invisible would be the branches that are, that are sort of there. These are like invisible. So I guess the visible would be the space between the branches. And if you, if you look at the space between the branches, am I, am I reading too far into this? It's like a magic eye thing. I, I don't even know what I'm looking for. There's gotta be a hidden word here. Guaranteed there's a hidden word here. It has something to do with this. Come on, man, scan, scan, scan. Find, find the word. Where is the hidden word? Is this a word? It's like scratches here, up here. It's like an X maybe. It's gonna be like a H. Uh, I don't know. Could be anything. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Why would he make those branches invisible? I don't get it. Making branches invisible. He says the mystery of the world is the visible, not the invisible. So, so I'm focusing on the trees that are not invisible. I'm gonna try to bring the file into Lightroom here. 
Maybe here I can mess with the settings a little bit. Okay, oh, that's cool. Oh, four, six, four, five, nine, one, four, six, four, five, nine, one. We've got a code here. Let's go. Okay. Distortion. So it's somewhere in there. If we can go frame by frame, maybe we can find something here. Might take us a second, but I think we have to scan everything. There's a bunch of pixels. That seems just to be the, the glitchy transition here. Signal detected, it says right here, 01001110. We've got some Morse code here, or not Morse code rather, uh, some binary, 01001. O, or sorry, O one O O one 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 O. Okay, maybe there's more. Hold on, can't read that. I don't think it's meant to be read. Looking everywhere here, we want another one of those little digits, perhaps. If we have another flash of those binary numbers, maybe those binary numbers translate into a word. By the way, I'm gonna go look at that after. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything else. It's literally like one frame too, so you gotta scrub through all of this. There. 01, 01, 01, 00. Okay, we got more numbers, we got this. This looks like the book of an insane person. Maybe there's a pattern. I'm going to type this out in my notes app. Let's go to a website. Oh, so I've converted the numbers into text. Something writer co. I'm missing some. So what, oh, national typewriter co. Let's go. Oh, that's sick. National typewriter co now. Oh, that's when you try it. Typewriter sound. Is there anything I can click here? National Typewriter Co. What? I'm looking at the link. There's nothing in the link. Just gibberish. I'm so happy to be off that last one, by the way, but I'm really worried about this one. This one's really worrying me right now. What's the National Typewriter Co.? Located in Bad Robot, the National Typewriter Company, maybe their post, their um, offices, 90404. That's gonna be a bit of a stretch, but we'll try 90404. Yeah. 
Didn't think so either. Project description, intentionally obscure and misleading. The name on the building says the National Typewriter Company. Not that typewriters have anything to do with what happens inside. The historic refurbished building located in Santa Monica houses Bad Robot's J.J. Abrams Production Company. The same production company resembles responsible for the hit TV series Lost, uh, alias blockbuster movies like Cloverfield, Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible 3, etc., etc. No, that's the building. We don't need that. They don't have a workshop. They don't have a website. All they have is an address and a postal code or a zip code. typewriter how deep do I have to go with this Cloverfield two hours later this is gonna sound more like a conspiracy theory than anything else because my brain is absolutely in shambles right now but in All right it is the next day I am currently editing this video and I'm, I was feeling a little conflicted during the edit because I don't want to give away the final solution. Because you see, after the final solution is found, you can put in your personal details and apparently they send you something. Now, I'm not sure if they still do that or if that's done and over with. But the last thing I want is for hundreds, maybe thousands of people inputting uh, the same solutions and also getting a prize. I don't think that would be fair to Theory 11. Uh, so I'm going to bleep out and sort of censor certain clues and hints that would lead you to the final solution. But what I can say is this did take me hours to find. And it is, it is, I wouldn't even say clever. I would say unfair that that was the answer. It's a stretch, a real stretch, I'll give you that. I'm surprised that the solution worked when it when it did, you'll see, uh, but I just wanted to chime in here and let you know that, and I'm sorry if that is unsatisfactory to some of you watching this, but um, hopefully you guys understand the reason for me sort of blurring out that portion. Just wanted to, just wanted to say that. Back to the video. It's a bit of a stretch, but I'm thinking those numbers might be the solution here. The numbers formed a number that predicted maybe that's it. Now, hold on a second. If I check the page source, this is interesting. Maybe it gives us some type of clue here. Would he hide the clue in the page source? For the safe input, I need dial. Type range, value one, minimum one, maximum 80. I don't really know what any of this means. I'm gonna try all these combinations of all the different numbers. Maybe we try them backwards. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> I am absolutely in shambles right now. I am completely messed up. My brain is fried. Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, I can't even, I can't even fathom. I can't even. The fact that the reference for that final phase absolutely blew my mind. I was ready to give up probably about four or five times during this uh, final solve. I'm so happy I stuck with it. I'm so happy, I'm so happy I didn't give up when I could have. Um, I think most people would have given up. I think I would have normally given up at this point and just been like, you know what, send it. Um, they asked me to put in my address. Apparently they send you something when everything is done. I, uh, 
I don't know if that still holds true. This thing is like five or six years old. But man, oh man, what an exciting puzzle. That was so much fun. That last puzzle did me in. So I took a few breaks uh, during this thing, which obviously I cut out, but I take breaks just to clear my mind, you know, go do something else because if you spend too much time on this, uh, it can drive you insane. But during those breaks, sometimes you have like good ideas. Sometimes you're like, oh, what if this, what if this? And you come back with a refreshed brain. So all in all, a total of about close to six hours to complete this uh, and most of that was spent on the last uh, three puzzles no on the last actually uh, puzzle number five which was the invisible the invisible one that took me probably an hour and a half and then the final puzzle which took me I think well over three hours um, to finally get to the solution which I still think is ridiculous I still think that solution is ridiculous I've you don't understand I've put in every variation of these numbers right here every variation of those numbers uh, non-stop just like I added the numbers together I did I was I was starting to do math at one point tried converting them into letters and then maybe that would give me a clue. All of that uh, just didn't work obviously. And then finally, knowing JJ Abrams, he shouted out, this is when it clicked, when I when I really figured out, oh, he shouted out. And then there we were. So, Definitely uh, definitely starting a headache here. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing any of these puzzles in one sitting like I did. I'm kind of insane. Uh, I think I'm actually might be clinically insane at this point. Uh, thanks for watching guys. I got nothing left. Um, check out Theory 11, shout out to Theory 11. They do awesome things and they have more of these online sort of puzzles. I know we did the Neil Patrick Harris deck. They have one of those. so. Uh, definitely check them out if you like this type of thing because they release some really cool things. I'll uh, leave the link below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.